Julian, he has a lot of enemies, right? Just, just please tell me you didn't try and kill him last night. I don't know. My God, you can't even say it, can you? You, can, you, you need to listen to me. What, 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 are you gonna explain? How it wasn't supposed to happen this way that Julian was supposed to die? How? What difference does that make to Morgan? I don't know how, how the hell this happened. I of course you do, you, you put the whole thing in motion. Of course you do. You gave the order. Mike, that's not. You want to get your home? Okay. No, when, I, when, I, when I wanted to go after Paul for what he did to Sabrina, you stopped me. You told me that vengeance is expensive. That will cost me the rest of my life. That Paul wasn't worth it. Was Julian worth it? Was, was vengeance on him worth Morgan's life? Tanner took away his keys. Who told you he was drinking? T.J. Ashford did. He saw him in the parking lot, said he was drunk. And? and? Manic? Was he having a manic episode? No, I wasn't there. But I know T.J. tried to give him a ride home, but Morgan punched him. Hopped into a car sitting there, the keys were at. I don't think he had any idea it was Julian's car. Julian Jerome? Yeah. What the hell was Morgan doing in Julian's car? <sighs> TJ saw Jason. He told him everything. Jason went after Morgan and uh, he saw the whole thing. You said Morgan didn't hit anything. Why did the car explode? It was a bomb, Carly. And it wasn't meant for Mark. It was meant for Julian Jerome. Hi. Tracy, grandmother. Um, I have to take the next couple of days off work, at least. Why? What happened? Uh, Morgan. Yeah. He, uh, he was killed last night. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, it was a car bomb. Morgan was driving Julian Jerome's car. And there was a bomb in it. Did Sonny have anything to do with that bomb? I don't have the information to answer that. Yes, you do. Did Sonny have anything to do with that bomb? Oh my God. Carly. Oh my God. Oh my God. I beg Sonny. I beg Sonny not to do anything. Carly, please stop. If you listen to anything I say, please listen to me right now. I know you're grieving. But I'm still a cop. If you say anything more that could implicate my father, something that I might have to repeat in an official capacity down the road somewhere, do you understand what I'm saying? I probably already crossed the line by saying that just now. I'm sorry, Carl. I found this at the scene. It was Morgan's. Take it. I'm sorry. Sorry for the way we left things today. 
I wanted to go after you, but your dad and I decided you might need some time alone. I know you're disappointed about school, but baby, it's only a setback. Believe me, I've had plenty of them myself, and I know from experience, you can rise above this. You can learn from your mistakes and move on. And I want you to hear me when I say this, okay? No one wants you to be perfect. We just want you to be you. Generous, funny, and wonderful you. So whatever you're doing, wherever you are, when you get this message, will you call me, please? I just want to tell you how much I love you and need you. Call me, Morgan. This is Morgan's phone. That was a voicemail I left him. But he never got it. Because he was in a car. And a bomb blew him up.